Hello everyone, today I am celebrating something special. Recently I reached 100 subscribers on YouTube, or actually today it's 101, so I thought I will show you something special on this occasion. This is a Fontaine Dynaxis lock, it's a French, fairly hard to get one. There are older versions of this um, out there, like this one in a kind of French monoblock format. It's also available in Euro cylinder. Well, there is nothing in here right now, but it would be same internals. I have it now, got it on my table. And this one is a successor of the older ones. Quite similar internally, but the main difference beside having seven sliders other than compared to five is this really cool key, so just have a look at it. Um, even way earlier than Stealth key came out, there was some key already that was hiding its bitting, and the way it works, it just shrouds the key in this retractable um, thingy, which when you insert it in the key, in the lock, just retracts and you can operate the lock as normal. I think it's very clever design. So yeah, before I go into Peacock, let me show you how it operates. So here is half that I disassembled from the other one. So you have this front cover um, that helps to retract the shroud and insert just the bitting in, into the lock and inside of it it's, I think it's called Brahma style lock so there are there is this um, cylinder whatever you call it and there are slots for the wafers that have the cutouts for the gates and there is a sidebar that looks like this so one half is installed and I have some sliders in there and the other half is here in my hand. So normally uh, when the um, cylinder doesn't have the key inserted, the sliders, I think, I hope you can see there, blocking the rotation of um, this sidebar. But the sliders can move through those grooves. And when the right key is inserted, the gates, they will align with the sidebar. Yeah, allowing me to lose it. Um, allowing it to turn. I hope I am showing it somewhat <laughs> understandably. Yeah, anyway, so it can turn and in here there will be this pin that key operates and on top of the pin there is this kind of L-shaped bar that when the key is inserted it um, connects to the cam, which is, well, that's from the other lock, but the idea is the same. And the, the whole thing can then turn together with the cam. Um, all right, there is one more thing I would like to show before I start picking. And yeah, that's, or actually two things. First is the design of the this coupling. So there are two pins on each side of the cylinder and one of them is spring-loaded, another one is not. What it does is that, um, this is I assume interior side, the pin is pushed out and uh, uh, this half of the core is kind of 
already coupled with the uh, with this nose. On the exterior side, however, you have to actively push the pin in order to um, insert this thingy into the cam, push out the other one and couple them and allow it to turn. So when we pick, and I will be picking exterior side, um, I will have to pick this pin kind of and couple the cam as well. One other thing is, are the sliders. So they're stamped and I will got of course, but for now they are stamped and I hope it can be seen. The gates can be in different places. There can be a couple of gates for mustard sliders or it can be a wide one. Um, interesting is that it is stamped. So you see the corners here are rounded. So the whole slider was and here they are way sharper. So it was stamped out of a sheet of metal and the gate in it, it was also stamped but in the different direction. So here you see the rounded edges are on this side and on this side they are quite sharp. And it means that in different uh, directions in counterclockwise and in clockwise it will behave slightly differently. Okay, in one uh, one direction it's kind of tapered and relatively easy to overset and in the other direction it kind of stops before you reach the true gate then you have to push it a bit harder and then it kind of really uh, stops quite hard in the true gate so yeah I guess I have been talking for a long time now let's get it into the wise and start picking um, right, and while I'm picking, putting it into the vise, um, here are a couple of tensioners that I tried using and turns out this one works the best. A bit longer ones that I can insert deeper with kind of head, it's made out of bike spoke and yeah, works really well. So for the picking I will use the probe and let's go. And jiggle testing, that's fairly standard procedure. And I'm picking, I will, guess I can pick in both directions if I will not take too long. And counterclockwise it's a tapered direction or clockwise I mean the, the direction I'm picking in now and the counterclockwise is the direction where it um, stops before the gate quite important not to push the sliders too hard unless you found that it, it is really the binding one because otherwise you'll overset them especially in this direction and another thing is I don't think this lock has been picked publicly yet I'm pretty sure it was picked because it's even on a LPU belt list, but there are no videos, not a single one. There is one with some kind of tool for something like self-impressioning, but not single pin picking. And there was some core movement just now, more than before. So I think we're getting close. Yep, and there was a lot of core movement and now let me, here is the cam and I will just try to couple it now and let me find something else. Now 
might have to counter rotate a little. Okay. And you see the cam turned. So yeah, let's now pick one position. In order to pick completely, it would have to go seven. Um, but now let me pick it close quickly. For that, just five of them needs to be picked because one slider um, is not aligned with the with the cutout in the sidebar, and one position there is. Oh well, maybe six. Maybe I'm not counting right. Yeah, six. Okay, picked close, and now let me pick it in the different direction with full seven sliders. That should be fairly quick. Could I find it easier in this direction where the gates are much clearer defined? Because there is really noticeable stop before you go into the gate. Oh, now it starts turning. Okay, and let me show that it's picked. So you remember the cam was looking this way, and now it looks that way. So, right, that's picking part. Now let me quickly cut it. And there were roll pins in there. I replaced it with some kind of pin from some other lock. That is easier to take out. Here is a pin on that side. They told you that there is no spring on the exterior. And if we drop the rest, if it allows me to. Oh, actually, I can show it even this way. Now you see it jumped out. And here is the one from the other side with the spring. And that's just extension because the cylinder is longer. Okay, now I will have to lock it first. And now There's a sidebar. And I guess it might also be different how to pick it because this is also stamped. And it also has sharper edges on one side and rounded ones on the other side. Will probably also influence picking, but I cannot imagine that there is a right and wrong way, probably more kind of chance thing. Okay, that's just the sleeve. And here are the sliders. It used to have one more mustard, but I was able to replace it with a um, right kind of matching one 
without mastering from the other side of the lock. Okay, so here you go, seven sliders. The cores, the springs, they don't go out because on this side um, the channel is narrower and on that side it's crimped. So the, the springs remain where they are. And here are the sliders. You can see the edges very well, you can see the stamping. And yeah, very nice French lock. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you with next time with the next lock. Bye.